Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your daily dust for Wednesday, January 18th, if you're watching in real time, but it can be for whenever you stumble upon it. When I say daily dust, that's just my fun little way of saying that this is your daily sprinkling of magic in a three-card tarot reading using a variety of different decks, something that you may resonate with right now or something that's coming towards you something that's just for one day or something that has a longer term energy it could be lots of things okay and this is the heart tarot <laughs> let's see what the heart tarot has to say for you on this day that you're watching it it's Funnily, funny enough, it shuffles pretty darn good for heart shapes. For heart shaped. I don't think this is available anymore. I don't even remember where I got it. But I remember I was listening to Soul. I think she calls herself Soul Whispers now. She was uh, something else. Some kind of twin flame name, eleven eleven, something like that. But anyway, when I listened to her, she was one of the very first pick a card people that I watched, and I loved everything about her. Her voice, her her messages, her setup, her altar was so beautiful, very feminine. Every card deck she chose was like, yes, that one. <laughs> So she was. She had a lot of influence over the early um, decks that I bought. I'm so glad I got Romance Angels and a lot of these beautiful decks. And this was one of them. But from her influence, okay, that one wants to fall. And I'm going to pick the other two from the top. And I don't know why I've been doing this so differently lately. <laughs> All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles coming through again. Slow and steady wins the race. Ooh. And the um the four of wands is the twin flame card. Nice celebrations. Like happy birthday to anybody who's having a birthday. It also we're getting real close to the lunar new year. So um a lot of festivities this week gearing up for lunar un new year. <laughs> un year. Un year. If you're saying it, if you're saying it wrong, <laughs> if you're saying it like me, it would be you near. Ooh, New Year, you near. Oh, well, maybe I'm saying it right. All right, so our first card is the moon. Beautiful. Let's let me let me feel. What's this energy here? The moon, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. She, she's um, a very f pregnant, fertile moon woman here. So this could have to do with fertility, and this could be a suitor. Like always, or often, I have two energies. My my readings, like for the majority, of my readings do get very romantic. I have, I do, you know tap on career and spirituality and life path and things like that as well but it seems to always come back to the couples for me so so with the the moon here this can be like it's sometimes on the on the negative side it can be illusions or <clears throat> or false images false falsely believing in something or or something presenting itself and you thinking that you're fault, you know, false and believing it. And it's not to me it's not always the case. I feel like the 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 dreams that come up it's just it's it's really like what kind of energy do you have behind it? If you have this sort of cynical energy like that possibly can't be true or whatever, then then there is a good strong chance that you may manifest an um, an unhappy scenario, but if you have hope, you still might un, un you know, it still might happen. And but I think it's important to be your true self whenever dealing with moon energies. This can also be um, talking about 
the moon, new moons and full moons and moon phases and how they affect you. And it could also be for people, out, women out there who are trying to get pregnant or want to get pregnant. There could be some kind of, um, uh, what I did for my daughter to get pregnant with her was I, I laid under a full moon. I like exposed my belly under a full moon and that really, well, I mean, I don't know if that was the final thing that did the trick, but after trying everything, that's that seemed to it seemed to work right after that. So, in generally, also in general, the moon is about maternal things, and it can also be about um, worrying about something or projection of of worry over love of a loved one, like in a motherly way. This could also be like. Whoever you're closest to, you may not, you may not want to. Maybe it's this person here, somebody that you're close to. You may not want to hurt their feelings, or you might not want to say something. And so, in a in a very uh, maybe passive way, you don't say what you need to say that's on your mind. Um, sometimes this could be represent like somebody is showing you a certain side of them or a face. That, but there's are other things hidden or secretive. But overall, the moon is about the unknown. It's like there's a lot of things that we don't know. And I feel like it's wrong to project into to the future that you don't know <laughs> until you know it. You know, it, it's like, what do you, why do you want to project a bad outcome? Or why do you want to, uh, you know, have, see the worst case scenario but it does it keep you safe not necessarily you know pre, you know seeing or predicting um different scenarios whether they're good bad or whatever don't necessarily keep your feelings safe you're still going to feel what you feel in the moment when the moment happens and so and sometimes the feelings come after too much monkey mind too much thought in it too many thoughts playing in your head over and over again. I just feel like maybe the, there's a scenario here though. I think simply simply speaking though, there's a scenario. There could be somebody out there who's pregnant, who's waiting for the baby daddy and he's taking his long time, but he will come through and you will celebrate together. I think that's um, one message for at least one person out there. But for a lot of the rest of you, even if you're not pregnant, there's this feeling like maybe like a lot of of um, weight. Not it's almost like the weight on your shoulders, but it's not on your shoulders as if it was a masculine energy. It's like the burden in your belly, like as if you have so many things to take care of because you have this motherly nurturing influence, and you're taking care of this Knight of Pentacles, or you want to, but something about the Knight of Pentacles is taking a sweet time. <laughs> so the Knight of Pentacles does have energy, but he's a patient person. He could be a wealthy man. He could be an ideal partner. He has a lot of, um, he may have a lot of obstacles to face, but he will do anything to protect his loved ones. And he's, and there's something very patient and methodical about him. And, but he keeps his private life private, right? He won't share too much. So there could be things about, you know, maybe your person, you want them to open up more. I feel like there, I feel like with the four of wands, there is a movement towards something exciting, something open and happy, some, some kind of new level. Um, it could be just simple as friendship and socializing and something becoming very sincere, like a, a very sincere friendship, um, being there for each other, like being present in different situations, um, warm welcome, uh, distractions and vacations. So so even if this for so, some of you is, does not have to do with the twin flame, if it does, then I I, mean, I feel it. I feel like a, a strong twin flame energy here. But if it's not, then this is like going back into the basics and like this very connected couple, friendship, whatever it is. They're really, this person really looking out for this person. This could be a pregnant woman who's 
man left her and a, a new man's coming in to protect her and love her even though that man, the baby belongs to somebody else like somebody could have that story too i'm not, just hearing lots of different scenarios and stories overall though i feel like a protective energy for this very nurturing type person and so there's there's like a nurturing this is like this also another <laughs> heard another message like a mother and a father and their child's birthday so somebody's birthday and uh there's a lot going on in preparation for birthdays so yeah a lot a lot's happening but a lot of good and a lot of celebrations and um yeah so just blow out the candles make a wish first though make a wish first before you pull out the candles and i bet you it'll come true faith trust the pixie dust Thank you.